Thank you, Mr. Administrator Elliott. Uh, my California colleagues, uh, Representative Carvajal and Senator Feinstein, wrote a letter to you on May uh, 17th requesting an update on the status of the rulemaking regarding automatic and remote control shutoff valves. Uh, as you're aware, this uh, happened in 2015 that we had the refugio oil spill in Santa Barbara. Yes. Major disaster, 100,000 gallons of oil spilled into the ocean uh, and uh, shut down commercial fisheries. The uh, <clears throat> shutter valves and leak detection technology could have prevented the environmental and public health damage caused by the tragedy. Uh, could you give me the status of that uh, uh, rulemaking and when you can expect to answer that letter? Uh, Congresswoman, uh, thank you. I am aware of, of the letter that came in and we're preparing the, uh, the response for that letter. Um, uh, with regards to the rulemaking, again, the, the leak detection rulemaking is one that we're going to work quickly on. It's in the notice of proposed rulemaking stage. Uh, it, we have some work to do on it in order to uh, uh, get it to the final rule stage, but uh, it is my pledge to you that we will continue to move forward on that rulemaking as quickly as we can, ma'am. Well, I look forward to your answer, sir, and I would like to have a copy of that uh, letter to uh, Mr. Carvajal and Senator Feinstein. Uh, Mr. Elliott, uh, because of your background in the rail industry, which you've pointed out, and your current position, I have a question regarding the intersection of pipeline safety and railroad operations. Uh, and I have to report that after eight years of negotiations between Kinder Morgan Pipeline Company and Union Pacific, Cal Poly Pomona University, and the Alameda Corridor East Public Transportation Agency in my district, two rail grade crossings are being closed because of a new division track for Union Pacific. The project will reduce congestion, reduce smog, and increase public safety by allowing the residents in the valley to travel on a major corridor without stopping at two previous railroad crossings. The project was held up for eight years because the new rail line ran over Kinder Morgan Pipeline. And there was a disagreement between Union Pacific and Kinder Morgan on the level of protection needed for the pipeline, uh, one type of cement versus another. Are you aware of these ongoing disagreements between railroads and pipeline companies across the country on the level of safety when they cross? And uh, what would you do to solve these issues to speed up the projects and improve the safety? Congresswoman, thank you uh, for your question. I will tell you from my railroad experience uh, that any time we can close a highway railroad grade crossing, that's a good thing because it promotes safety. Uh, and I can also tell you from my railroad experience uh, managing environmental matters for the railroad, uh, we were often in dialogue with pipeline operators to ensure the safety of pipelines underneath the railroad right-of-ways. And I think we saw that progress uh, over the years, and, and I think we saw safety improve as well uh, with the advent of uh, horizontal directional drilling that allowed the pipelines to actually go further underneath the right-of-ways. As you know, probably from your experience, our concern in the railroad is the vibration uh, underneath the railroad bed, so we were always concerned about making sure that the pipes were far enough down that that vibration didn't impact the lines. So, uh, and I would expect that the railroads today continue to have good dialogue with their uh, uh, counterparts uh, at the oil and gas companies to make sure that they're having those crossings as safe as possible. But are you addressing those issues? Um, I will have to look more into that to see if we, we've got any current issues dealing with uh, both oil uh, and gas pipeline operators and the railroads. So, and I might I can consult with my colleagues over at the Federal Railroad. Would you kindly let this committee know because that is an important issue when it uh, has an uh, impact on public safety. Yes. Yes, ma'am, we'll let you know. Thank you. Yield back. Uh, 